To verify your intensity, you need to generate a saturation curve. Once you've entered all the different parameters in the parameter selection menu, you press yes to generate the saturation curve and it brings you to the saturation curve menu. You see here that we're looking for an intensity of 10A and the first estimate RPM is 4000. That means we'll be running our saturation curve at 4000 RPM in order to get something close to a 10A intensity. You press the first button of the cumulative time to enter the first time unit. In our case, we'll be using 0.5 minutes. You see that automatically the system doubles the time uh, required. If you're not happy with that, you can always change it. Let's say I'm not, I don't like four minutes, I'd like to have five minutes. We can input that directly, there's no problem. Let's put it back at four. Now to get your first arc height, we press the first button here and it automatically brings us to the first 30 seconds, the first half minute that needs to be done. You take a brand new almond strip, you put it on the gauge, and you zero the gauge. Here we say we have two tenths of a thou, and we will zero that to remove the initial arc height. And we install our almond strip on the strip holder, magnetic strip holder. Then what you do is you start the system, okay, and you give it a few seconds to reach steady state, in this case 4,000, and when you're ready, you press the start button. Now if the almond strip moves a little bit, you can use your thumb and push it back in place. There's no problem. So we'll be flap repeating for half a minute. And when we reach zero, the Flap Speed Pro will stop the grinder automatically. There we go. Now it asks us to measure our first arc height put the almond strip on the gauge and we're getting an arc height of 6.8 thousands of an inch. Okay, we enter that value in the system directly in inches, so 0.0068, okay, enter that. To do the second point, we press on the second button. We see that we're at 30 seconds again because we're doubling the time, we're going from 30 seconds to a minute, so we need to add 30 seconds. We start the unit, it'll reach 4,000 RPM, and when we're happy, we press on the start button, and that will start the timer up. There we go. We'll measure the second arc height. Okay, we're getting 0 0.0104, and we'll enter that in the system, 0 0.0104. Enter, and now we want to do the third point. Now we've gone 30 seconds, a second 30 second to reach one minute. Now we'll do one minute to reach a total of two minutes. Okay, so the system is already set at one minute. We start the grinder, wait a few seconds till it reaches 4,000, and when we're ready, we press the start button. And we'll take another measurement. In this case, we're getting 0 0.0126, 128. Okay, let's go with 128. We'll enter that into the system, 0 0.0128, enter. And we need a minimum of four points due saturation curve. So now we've done a cumulative up to two minutes. We need an extra two minutes to reach four minutes. Okay, so two minutes. Once we reach steady state, we press the start button, and here we go. Timer reaches zero. We take the measurement, the arc height measurement, 0 0.0146. We enter that 0 0.0146 into the system. Now you see that the measured arc heights are here in this column and that the system autom automatically corrects the arc heights because we're using a magnetic holder, okay? So we've got at least four points, now we can do plot graphic. Okay, so we're getting, here you can see the intensity, 
0.0094 at a time of 1.43 minutes and we have a nice saturation curve. So what we do is we press the print button here and that sends it up to the USB key. Now we're done our saturation curve. We're happy with the intensity we're getting. Now we're ready to go and work on the part.